Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another RDI episode. This is gonna be a long video since we have two different projects to work on. This is one of them. As you guys can see here, we use a specialty vinyl and I'm gonna give you all the details. So make sure you watch the whole video, okay? And for our two projects, we're gonna use different materials. The ones on the right side are specialty vinyls. They are metallic material. For this installation, we're not gonna use any liquid, no rapid tag or anything. We're just gonna use it to clean the surface, but it's gonna be a dry application. And this is the one the customer went for. For the second project, which is gonna be the bigger one, it's gonna be just regular 751 vinyl. Since we are gonna install the decals on rivets, we wanna make sure that we use the right material. If you wanna get the materials, make sure you follow the links. Thank you. Okay guys, before we start cutting our vinyl, we are going to align the vinyl. And make sure that, if you own the graph deck anyways, make sure you use the alignments on the side of the machine. Just make sure you pull some of it to the front and try to make sure that the uh, vinyl is aligned with the alignments here. Okay, I think we got it there. And once you think it's ready, you just lock it and then send it to the back and just see how much the vinyl moves on the side. And if it moves a lot, just keep trying until you get it right. It didn't move much. I think we got it there. And just one thing, if you end up getting this vinyl, you will notice that the vinyl measures about 20, like I think it's like 26 inches. So it's not really accurate. It's not 24, uh, 24 or 25. It's a little bit bigger, but uh, you just got some extra room. As far as the settings go, we are using the same settings. Offset zero, speed 33, cut four, 16. Just like you would with Oracle 651. Okay, this is really important. Like I mentioned previously, make sure that you add some weeding boxes. It makes it a lot easier when you start weeding out, just like the way I'm doing it right now. And you guys can see the metallic material. That's the reason we are going to do dry application. And the tape we're gonna use is the Art Tape Clear Choice AT75. And someone asked about the reason why we mentioned earlier that when you weed out, make sure that you do the letters from uh, your right to your left and the numbers left to right. And it makes it a lot easier when weeding out. This example, we got both letters and numbers, and I have to choose which one, which way I'm gonna go. But uh, sometimes if you just have just letters, you'll know where to go. And yep, it's going very good right now. Perfect. Okay, as you guys can see here, I got a little piece of vinyl and I'm gonna use that. I'm gonna save it for next time. It's not real carbon fiber, so this material is not that expensive. Okay, we're about to start working on the second design and we're gonna use the regular vinyl. You're about to find out the reason why we gotta line the vinyl. It's gonna be quite big. And always keep an eye on the vinyl cutter, okay? Uh, we had a little issue here as they were weeding out part of the logo came off before we applied the transfer tape i just wanted to show you guys the different sizes that we have and uh, if you guys don't want to waste more a lot of materials i recommend that you guys get different sizes and this is the most recommended tape the clear choice at75 this is by far the best tape that we've used even though this one is the specialty vinyl we're still going to use the same transfer tape for it and uh, we're gonna use the art tape clear choice AT75 pretty much we're gonna repeat every single yeah. step we're gonna apply the same transfer to every single sticker so we'll see you guys in just a minute We got our stickers ready. We're just waiting to head out, but I just wanted to show you guys the decals before we install them on the trailer and the tr semi truck. 
and I just want to point out something real fast as you guys can see here our semi trucks are ones facing this way ones facing the other way once we get to the installation we got to make sure that the semi truck is facing the same way as the semi truck we're going to apply the stickers on I don't know if it makes sense but okay so once we get to the driver's side this is going to go on that side and then passenger side it's going to be this one here and this way the semi trucks are going to be facing the front of the semi truck okay guys we made it to the place and this is the trailer we'll be working on 